Tesla and big things are inseparable. Be it ambition, idea, or more tangible items, Tesla would rather go big. Perhaps it's due to the many successes the company has racked up in the short time it's existed, or just the personality of the CEO, Elon Musk. Whatever the case, Tesla tends to come along and fundamentally change how things are done. Just like with its Gigapress. What is Gigapress and how does it work? Why is it a game changer in the automaking business? Welcome to Tech Archives. What is a Gigapress? They are giant machines made by IDRA Group, based out in Italy. The name was actually coined by IDRA, not Tesla. Their purpose is die-casting large parts in a single piece. If you have a head for figures, Gigapress produces a clamping force of between 55,000 kilonewtons and 61,000 kilonewtons. Gigapresses are the biggest casting machines to ever exist. To get a sense of how massive these machines are, they weigh 410 to 430 tons. That is the equivalent of five space shuttles. They are the sizes of houses at 20 meters by 7.5 meters by 6 meters and require dozens of flatbed trucks for transportation. And to get a sense of what a Gigapress does, think of a small plastic toy car. You would notice the chassis is made from a single piece. That is what Tesla Gigapress tries to achieve. Instead of a chassis that uses up to 70 bolted and welded parts, as it does by all other car makers, the new Tesla chassis will be one solid piece of engineering feat. How does it work? In other words, how does die casting work? The principle is simple. Force molten metal into mold and let it cool down. Then remove the mold and reuse it. Gigapress just does that on a larger scale. To make Tesla car chassis, the Gigapress has to be prepared first. The aluminum is melted into an external oven that can get as hot as 850 degrees Celsius. The aluminum, however, contains 8.5% silicone, so technically it's an alloy. A robot sprays soybean oil into the mold to help the finished chassis come off the mold cleanly. This is followed by a measured amount of molten aluminum being injected into the casting chamber of the Gigapress at a scalding 750 degrees Celsius, and then forced into a mold by a high-speed plunger. The next step is to open the mold, which is still very hot at 400 degrees Celsius. A robot arm will then pick it up and place it on a quenching tank to lower the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius. Measuring, checking for imperfection, and trimming follow to remove rough edges and excess materials. The chassis then continues its merry way down the production line where more robots are waiting to work on it. Speed is key. You would be pardoned if you think the process above takes hours for a single chassis, but it actually takes seconds. A production cycle can take place in less than 90 seconds, and the Gigapress is ready for the next chassis. Compared to bolting and welding parts together, as done by other car makers, Tesla has brought a rocket to a bike race. Tesla has brought several rockets, actually, as it owns and operates two Gigapresses at the Fremont plant, three in Shanghai, and one at each different stages of completion in Berlin and Austin. But we've heard the vendor supplying the Gigapress will be kept busy as Tesla has placed an order for up to 10 more units. The Berlin plant may end up with eight units, while the Austin factory may eventually have three of these monsters. That brings us to the first benefit of Tesla's Gigapresses. Gigapresses require a lot of space and investment. So why is Tesla going to all that trouble rather than staying the paths of older car manufacturers by welding and bolting things? To start with, Tesla can simply make more cars. It's easy to follow the math done by JP Morgan when they investigated these monster machines. With an assumed cycle of four to five minutes, one Gigapress could output 70,000 to 90,000 units in a year. Using the Model Y as an example, two Gigapresses are needed to make the front and end body parts. A plant with 10 Gigapresses can produce 350,000 units of the Model Y annually. While this is an impressive number, the Gigapress in Fremont has been observed to take less than 200 seconds to complete a run, even with optimization efforts still ongoing. Per specifications by IDRA, a Gigapress can complete a cycle in 90 seconds, which would mean about 1,000 castings per day. At any rate, Gigapresses will help Tesla make a lot of cars, which means it is poised to meet its goal of 50% year-on-year increase in production capacity. For 2021, Tesla wants to ship 750,000 units. Its stable of Gigapresses will be central to achieving that aim in subsequent years. Well, remember Tesla is a visionary company that doesn't shy away from taking on challenges. 
JP Morgan followed up on the casting machines and concluded that it was revolutionary for the auto industry for several reasons. Another advantage of the Gigapress is that they make cars cheaper. The cost cutting comes from several sources. First is the chassis itself, which becomes 40% cheaper to produce with the Gigapress. Second is that as massive as these monsters are, they actually result in about 30% reduction in the size of the body shop. Don't be surprised at this, as car manufacturing happens at big scales. So, less facility construction and maintenance for Tesla. Third, there is savings in labor costs, as robots do more of the work. Tesla could slice off a significant 20% from its labor-related overhead with these machines. Tesla is fanatic about cutting costs. It believes that this is what will make the elusive $25,000 electric car a reality. The Gigapresses may just be what humanity needs to get to the vaunted price point. Remember, we are in stage two of Musk's master plan to electrify the global transport industry by making cheaper electric cars after making high-end models. Added to that is the fact that Gigapresses simply do the job better. Using a single casting, defects like bad alignments from coupling over 70 pieces or components are avoided, making Tesla vehicles higher quality. We can't skip the bragging rights. Sure, every CEO is forgiven for blowing their own trumpet once in a while, but you simply don't have a Gigapress and not tweet about it. Tesla has the cool factor for being the company with those big, big machines. JP Morgan concluded that the Gigapress is a game changer, and we agree. The first Gigapress was installed to produce the Model Y chassis at Fremont. Elon Musk has also revealed an even more powerful Gigapress would be required for the production of the Cybertruck with its steel body. There is no doubt that the semi-trucks too would start life in a Gigapress. Recently, we heard on Chinese social media that LK Tech, the parent company of Tesla's Gigapressor supplier, IDRA, is currently working on 9,000 ton presses, the biggest ever. While the client was not revealed, Musk had already stated that the Cybertruck would require an 8,000 ton press. Besides, LK Tech had already announced that the new presses were meant for making, quote, chassis components of larger vehicles such as pickup trucks, full electric lightweight goods vehicles, and SUVs. It's not difficult to put two and two together and see Tesla is the most likely owner of the presses and the models they will be used to make. Is the Gigapress going to remain exclusive to Tesla? Tesla has once again turned car manufacturing on its head with the Gigapresses. So far, there's been no word on its competitors placing orders for their own Gigapresses. But of course, it has to be a calculated move because of the drastic changes in the manufacturing process that Gigapresses demand. JP Morgan concluded that EV startups are the most likely to follow Tesla's lead. That is not to say we haven't heard of the Gigapress elsewhere. LK Tech has delivered one for Glavatech of South Korea, where it's used for producing large Faraday cages that is radio frequency enclosures for 5G mobile-based stations. The machine was delivered in December of 2020. So for now, Tesla will retain the edge its Gigapresses give them, and deservedly so, as being daring has its rewards. How long that would last remains to be seen, but we now know more than a few car makers will be thinking about Gigapresses at the moment, as Tesla has disrupted not just EVs, but vehicle making forever.